Hi guys. Okay, as you remember from a recent video, last Sunday I believe, I did a video talking about uh, the upcoming Silver Wolf classes. We still have a couple of slots left, just letting you know. And down in the description box, I'll put that uh, email to go to again, the Down and Dirty Woods Craft. And if I missed you, um, I posted on social media, Monday I had some screwy thing with my computer. I came and went to bring my computer up and it had been completely refigured, configured. All my files were gone, everything. And it said that it, Google has gone away and this is M I'm, uh, Microsoft now. And when I went to click, it had favorites. My favorites were my favorites from 2008. The last time I had that system type deal. So all my stuff was gone. I managed to get it back. But during that 24 hours of gray area in there, if you tried to send me an email to my email and it had not acknowledged it or whatever, try again, please. I've already got, some people already signed up. So if I haven't spoken to you and told you you already signed up and you sent an email and I haven't responded, please send another one because it was that twilight zone where the gmail account that i had um shows me at another gmail account so the down and dirty is there but it's like there's blackie thomas and then there's my other one it's showing the other one and i couldn't get to my usual one see i had my 2008 version sitting there and so i finally got all my stuff back okay now back to do you remember in that video I talked about I got a ton of books? Well, I want to bring one to your attention. This would be really good to add to your collection. This is called The Outdoor Life Complete Book of Camping. And it is from, I want to say, early 70s, late 60s, early 70s. Just a moment. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. 1961. Okay. It was by two gentlemen of Leonard Miracle and Maurice Decker. Okay. Very good book. Now, yeah, it is dated on some things. But I showed earlier in the picture, I showed how you could set up uh, tents. It's got really good discussion, very straightforward. It talks about camp bedding. Um, lot clothing for camping of course now some of that's going to be true and some of it's going to be kind of dated but a lot of it is not outdoor footwear i've been reading through it camp stoves wish somebody made a copy of this one this little camp stove right here you put the wood in the front right there and it had a back door you opened up it was a sealed up baking compartment so you had the stack which all went inside the stove and you had a lid you could lift off to have directly on the flames but it was a, a camp stove that weighed 20 pounds uh back in the day and it was uh i forget how the dimensions are but it was made by the s-m-i-l-i-e company that who made that a wood burner sheep herder stove having a little bacon oven on one would be pretty cool wouldn't it but um, shows you how to set it up, how to hook them up. I've been going through reading this thing and have been really impressed. How to sharpen an axe, the pocket knife, the belt knife, you know, saws, axes, pitching a camp, bicycle camping. It's a really good book. It's a general purpose book and it's a good library book to have in your collection. Now, the good news is, these are not expensive. Um, the book originally sold for $4.95. But when I went and looked on eBay and stuff, these books were selling less than 10 bucks. So if you're looking to add to your collection, I recommend this one to add to your collection. It'd be a great first book to hand off to some young person to read and get a basic idea. It's got little tidbits of information for us old salts as well mixed in that makes it a good, interesting read to even from this glean some things. 
And a lot of stuff that's still talked about today is in this book. Like, for example, they were talking about a belt knife. He says you don't need a big old huge buoy knife. He said something about four to six inch long blade, full tang, you know, leather sheath reinforced like this. Pocket knife, a three blade stockman will do a good job. A boy scout knife, if it's quality steel, high carbon steel will do a good job. The same wisdom that we still preach today was in this. So, if you're looking to add to your collection, I would recommend this. Now, I don't know if it's got a ISBN number for Congress. I don't think it does. This is from 1966. But like I said, when I did a search on eBay, a bunch of these showed up for... I think one was six bucks, and I think the most expensive I found was like 12 or 14. So, just a little tidbit. As I read through these, when I find books that I think would be really good to add to your collection, I'll bring them, talk about them, give you an idea. Building your library is such a good idea because we live in an electronic age where everything's digital. I mean, it's on the phone, it's, you know, whatever. Yeah, but you go, and it's gone. And then all you're left with is what's in here. So if you're going to have something to pass down, a book or some sort of printed document is the only thing because there is no electronic medium that you can pass off that's going to be usable down the line. I mean, this is spoken from someone who had an 8-track collection back in the day, some of the best, coolest bands there were. Oh, this is the way to go. Everybody's going to get away from them cassettes. It's all going to be eight tracks. Yeah. Blu-ray and DVD. Video cassette. VHS. All of it becomes obsolete. The one thing that happened? Books. And so if you've got a book collection, you've got something you can hand down. And that's probably going to become real important one of these days. Till next time, guys. I'm Blackie wishing you safe journeys. Have a great day, guys.